Good evening, welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm here to do my latest book review. It's a biography, and I just want to say that this book was, oh, it was so deep. And at times it was depressing. I had to put it down because it just bothered me so. And... It kind of, toward the end of this book, it had me feeling kind of depressed. I'm just going to be honest with you. I was just feeling bad, and I was like, I want to, it's because of that book. Because I was so deep invested in reading this book, and I felt like I knew the character, well, I felt like I knew him. And I was getting mad and frustrated with some of the things that he did what took place in this book. But with no further ado, I am talking about There'll Never Be by Thomas DeBarge of DeBarge. Mm. Where do I start with this book? I'll say that I watched the Bobby, the Bobby DeBarge story on TV1. And I'm just going to say, the movie had nothing to, on this book. This book told so much more. And at, sometimes in the book, I felt like I was like, ooh, this is just so twisted. I can't, I just can't, you know. Their, their father was just, whew. All I just want to say, how could you do that to your family? And not only that, what was kind of disturbing is then you have siblings raping other siblings in this book. That was really hard to read. It really was. And I could, well, I'm not going to say I could see, but I just wish that they had counseling throughout their whole family and maybe that maybe then they wouldn't have turned to drugs like Thomas turned to drugs basically all of them was dealing in drugs Bonnie Al James Mark I mean who and I just felt like this book gave insight of what really went on and that the movie did not portray I would say that and I just got one thing that in this book is if God, you know your calling from God, where you supposed to be for your career, your life, why fight it? Don't fight it. That's Thomas. Tommy, as they call him. He knew he wasn't Supposed to be in the secondary world trying to play with the group switch. He knew what his calling was, but he rejected God because of the church that he attended. And I can see why he did it, because sometimes church people can be the most judgmental people there is. And... I just look at them like, who are you to judge? There's only one person that needs to judge me, and that's him. You know, I mean, are you going to be the one to decide when it's my time whether I go to hell or heaven? No. So I can see why he, because of the Pentecostal church that he was a member of, which was his uncle, why you know, they was very, just very hypocritical. And I could see why he felt that, in a way, when I'm reading this book, I'm like, he kind of don't trust God because of what he's done, been through. The criticism in the church, his father, and then one of his 
siblings raping him, I can see why he kind of went some, through some of the things that he went through. And I just want to say, crack cocaine, I know it's a powerful drug, but after reading this book here, I see. I kind of understand. It's just, once you hooked on it, it's kind of hard to get off of. I got mad at Tommy doing the book because, okay, his first wife, Ducky, she was strung out on drugs also, too. And so, what happened to her? My heart was like, wow. Then he got with his second wife, April, and it's like, she wasn't on drugs. She was pretty straight, you know, for us. She knew what she wanted out of life. And what got me so upset was, okay, you got a good wife, but you still... It's almost you depending on you finding some excuse for you to go back to crack and cocaine. And I will say this. You should have listened to your brother when he told you, Bobby, on his deathbed, not to deal with Switch. And that's all I'm going to say kind of about that. But I do want to add a little more to that is that watching the special on... Um, TV One, the Ong Song, the members made it seem like Tommy had health issues, the reason why he's not touring with them. I don't believe it. After reading this book, I know kind of what this how the story fell. So I don't believe that what they said on Ong Song is true. I just want to say this book right here had me all in my feelings. I, I felt like I knew Tommy and he was a real friend of mine. So I was getting so frustrated at the time I had to put it down. This book had me kind of depressed. So I'm wanting you, if you read this, be on the up and up. You know, please be on the up. If you know anyone who's struggling, abuse, drug abuse, any kind of abuse, please pick this book up and let them read it. After reading this book, we all go through things. We all have issues that comes up in our life. But I will say I have mine. But I will say I am lucky and fortunate and grateful that I have not been through some of the things that some people have been through. And reading this book is a test of that. I'm so blessed. And I just want to say that. I just give this book five stars. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of depressing. I'm not going to tell the whole book is consists of 331 page. It's a quick read. I could have been finished with it, but like I said, I got kind of down and just feeling bad and kind of it's the it's a depressing book, but it's like one of I've never read a biography like this and I'm pretty sure it's going to make my top list the best reads for 2019. I want to thank those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. If you have not, please subscribe. I'm also on Instagram, Robert's Reading Room. I'm on Facebook, Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. That's my group on Facebook. Um, and if you get a chance, check out my Little Rivers twin, Diamond Member, The Breakdown, and Diamond Little River World. She interviewed authors. You can call in and speak with her and the authors. She normally do that on Wednesday and Friday. I look forward to this weekend coming up here, um, going to the book conference. So i looking forward to that. But like I said, again, please, if you can, I highly recommend you to read this book. I learned so much about this family and kind of like the music industry also, too. Until next time. Time.